All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a system of equations. So the first equation in my system of equations is x squared minus y is equal to 10. And the second equation in my system of equations is y squared minus x is equal to 10. So what I want to do is find the value of both x and y as well as the value of x times y. And to find the value of x times y, we have to first find the values of x and y. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So I'm going to find the value of equation 1 minus equation 2. Now equation 1 is x squared minus y is equal to 10. So I have x squared minus y minus y squared minus x is equal to 10 minus 10. Now, as we all know, 10 minus 10 is 0. So I get x squared minus y minus y squared minus x is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to distribute this negative 1. So I get x squared minus y minus y squared plus x is equal to 0. And I can rewrite this as x squared minus y squared plus x minus y is equal to 0. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared, or sorry, a is x and b is y. So I get x plus y times x minus y plus x minus y is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x minus y, I get x minus y times x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get x minus y is equal to 0. And I also get x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So for x minus y equals 0, if I add y on both sides, I get x is equal to y. But x can't equal to y, and you know why, because x minus y does not equal 0. x minus y does not equal 0. So this is false. Now I have x plus y plus 1 equals 0 meaning x plus y is equal to negative 1. Now, if I take the square, if I square both sides, I get x plus y squared is equal to 1, and x plus y squared is the same thing as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. So this is actually going to be equation 3 of my system of equations. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we started off by subtracting equation 1 from equation 2. Now I'm going to add equation 1 and equation 2. So equation 1 was x squared minus y is equal to 10 and equation 2 is y squared minus x. So this is going to equal 10 plus 10. And this is the same thing as x squared plus y squared plus, sorry, I should say, minus x minus y is equal to 20. And this is the same thing as x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 plus x plus y. However, remember how x plus y is equal to negative 1. So this means that this is the same thing as x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 plus negative 1 or minus 1, which is the same thing as x squared plus y squared is equal to 19. Now I'm going to substitute this into equation 3. Because remember, 
we have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 1. We know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 19. So I get 19 plus 2xy is equal to 1, meaning 2xy is equal to negative 18, and x times y is equal to negative 9. So we were trying to find the values of x times y, and that is equal to negative 9. And remember how I said that we need to find the values of x and y, and that is actually false. We don't need to do that to find the values of their product. So x times y is the answer to this equation.